Hello and welcome to Skills and Trade. In today's exciting video, we're going to learn how to sand and polish a steel rim to a chrome finish. Now, originally, this video was an hour and a half long, so I did you all the pleasure of speeding up in certain parts. Now, the first thing we're going to do is grab a 220 grit sandpaper and place it on our orbital disc sander. Then sand away all the oxidation away from the rim. The easiest way to go about sanding is to hold the orbital disc sander nearly flat but have a slight angle to allow you complete control and allow to have a smooth finish. Now that we got the 220 out of the way, now it's time to use our 400 grit sandpaper. We'll just go ahead and place it on our orbital disc sander and sand everywhere we sanded with the 220 grit sandpaper. Out of all the steps in this video, sanding with the 220 and the 400 grit sandpaper definitely took the longest because you definitely want to take your time with this step to get rid of all the oxidation, make sure there's any big uh, divots or scratches that you may want to sand out. And this part is especially important because um, if you do not do this part effectively, um, the 8 and 15 we'll do next will not look very great at all. You may have noticed um, a new wardrobe on me as well as different lighting. Well the truth is um, I ran out of sandpaper in my earlier film session so I actually had to get more and do it a different day. That's why the, the sun is shining. Which is actually pretty nice because now when we're done sanding and polishing we get to see just how shiny we can actually make this rim. Yeah, what I did to help my 400 and 220 uh, take off all this oxidation was I actually used WD-40. I sprayed a little bit on the rim and it really helped take it off. Um, and another alternative is actually a LumaCut, which is another brand of a lubricant. But the WD-40 is the cheaper option if you want to go down that route. If you're wanting to learn how to sand and polish in real time and not this speeded up version, go ahead and check out my channel where you can watch my how to sand and polish aluminum to chrome finish where I sand an aluminum sheet and I'm sure it'll help you out. Now we're ready for the 800 grit sandpaper. I'm just going to place it on our orbital disc sander. As you'll notice, the uh, 800 uh, grit sandpaper is a lot finer than the ones we used previously. And as you can see, actually makes the rim a lot shinier than the other two did. Now we're ready to uh, grab our interface pad and our 1500 sandpaper. We're just going to place the 1500 sandpaper on the interface pad so we'll get a lot smoother finish. Now it's important with the 1500 to go really slowly. Um, the slower you go, the better finish you are going to get and the lot shinier the rim's going to look when we polish it. I had a hard time getting the side with my interface pad. So I just put a 1500 on the orbital sander and I'm just gonna get the sides with the 15. Now we're all done sanding the rim. As you can see, it's already really shiny. I mean, if you want, you could probably stop here and already get people turn their heads when they see your rim. But we still have another step. Um, we still got to polish this rim. All right, now we're ready to polish. So I'm going to take my steel wool, which is rated very fine, and my Gord's aluminum polish, place some of the polish on the steel wool. Now we're just going to rub it in. The way this polish works is uh, the more you rub it in, the darker it gets. And the darker it gets is when we finally polish it, 
the shinier and more chrome-like it will appear. Now we're ready to polish. So we're gonna take my uh, phone finishing pad, which is a soft buff W9006 finishing pad, and place it on the orbital disc sander. Now the key to polishing is to uh, barely hold the trigger and use just a, a touch of force, just not too much force, and just take your time and wait for the foam finishing pad to buff out all the polish. If you do that, it'll be nice and shiny. Now it's time to uh, wipe down the splatter that came when we uh, were polishing the aluminum to really make this uh, steel rim really shine. Well, I just want to thank you all so very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Please leave a comment down in the comment box and have a wonderful day.